We are still here at Embedded World 2023 at the Nordic Semiconductor Stand and we're looking at a Wi-Fi demo with a bit of a difference. Now, what makes this one kind of exciting is that it has a, a new top on the board. You will see that this is a development kit from Nordic you've never seen before. This is the NRF7002, which we've talked about quite a lot recently, uh, but in a form factor that is Arduino pin compatible friendly, which is kind of awesome. Um, it also has the cellular IoT system in package on it too, um, which basically makes this development board a cellular IoT and Wi-Fi 6 board. However, it's not connecting to Wi-Fi networks to do the normal thing that you would imagine. This is Wi-Fi based locationing, which is something that is quite new to me that Finn is kindly going to explain to, to me exactly how this works and yeah, why this is such a cool thing. Yeah, hi. Uh, so what we're doing here is uh, several different things. You might know that we did some asset tracking with the Thingy91. Uh, the interesting thing about this one is it does GNSS, so you can use GPS. You can also do cell-based locationing, so you can figure out where you are based on the cell towers that are close by, or via GPS. And they have two really good ways to figure out where you are. But there's a gap in between those two, because single-cell and multi-cell-based locationing is like kilometers range up to several hundred meters, and GPS is spot on. But if you want to use a bit less power than that, but more accuracy than, uh, less power than GPS, but more accuracy than multi-cell, what you can do is you can do, you can sniff Wi-Fi networks that are close by. We call this SSID-based Wi-Fi locationing. And this is exactly what we're doing here. So I have a 9160 development kit, and we put our NF7002 Wi-Fi 6 companion IC on top. So what we're doing is, we are checking all the Wi-Fi networks close by, getting information on what is close by, sending that to the cloud, and the cloud will give you back a pretty accurate representation of where you actually are right now. So you will get uh, between 6 and 60 meters of accuracy depending on where you are, with a lot lower power consumption than GPS. And the really interesting thing about this is, Wi-Fi based or SSID based Wi-Fi locationing tends to excel exactly where GPS struggles. So if you're in the middle of the cities and there's lots of high buildings around, you don't get a good GPS fix, but you have lots of Wi-Fi networks close by. So wherever you get bad GPS signal, you have really good Wi-Fi locationing. And where you have really bad Wi-Fi locationing, let's say you're out in the desert or in the middle of the forest, that's where you actually have really good GPS signals. So these complement each other very, very well. And all of these services are supported in our NIF cloud. So you get everything in one. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, this is just one of the many things that makes Wi-Fi 6 so compelling. And again, when this uh, when this development board first, oh, well, Companion IC first came out, um, I was saying exactly why I was excited about it without fully understanding the protocols of it. And the more I learn about it, the more exciting it seems to me. Anyway, thank you so much for your time today, Ben. You're welcome.